welcome to the Two Mortgage Guys podcast. We're back here uh, this week with a really special guest, Larry Landau from Lightning Laser Cuts, uh, who does all of our personalized gifts and more. Uh, so if you could, while you're joining in and tuning into this podcast, give a round of applause for our guest, Mr. Larry. Hello. Thank you for having me today. Yeah, man. It's a pleasure to have you as always. We love having you in the office. You're pretty darn good at being a, a staple at coming in and seeing it is what we need and, and, and being available to us when we need things. And even when we don't know we need things, you have stuff for us. Um, if you guys are tuning in on YouTube, you'll be able to look around the office right now and there's all kinds of just uh, of his products just kind of peppered throughout and a lot of things that we use even in our own office, whether it's coasters or some of the gifts that we get to send to some of our clients as thank yous. Uh, but we can tell you right now that Larry is the real deal. Uh, if you want somebody that does good quality business, gives you a product that's usable in your day, a day in and day out, and also for your business, uh, and has great customer service skills, or you found the right guy. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. So uh, just to kind of dive in a little bit with it, like uh, because you're kind of a you're kind of a niche situation, right? Like not everybody can say that they do lightning laser cuts for for a business, but you've done you know quite well for yourself within it. Honestly, it's because you do really great quality work. Like speaking as somebody that has been a uh, a, a buyer of your products, I can <laughs> say that it's been, it's worth every penny. So. How did you get into what you do, and, and maybe give it a little bit of a description of what it is that you do, even more than what I've already kind of described? Okay, what we do, we do personalized gifts for any occasion, literally anything from, you know, anything from simple as a name tag to a sign for a wedding, birthday, anniversary, closing gifts for realtors or lenders, if you needed something brand and promotional product, something simple as magnets, or you need, you know, business card holders that need your logo on it. You know, with all your different uh, employees' names, we could do anything like that. We also do a lot of, of craft supplies. We deal with a lot of crafters. So uh, we, for example, we have a lot of clients that will order a thousand circles shapes and then they'll paint them in ornaments and then they'll sell them on their Etsy page or their website or take them to the craft venue. So we have a whole multitude of thousands of products that we can actually dig into and create. So we do laser cutting and engraving. So what that means is for like here, for example, we'll laser cut the wood, whereas something is engraved, you know, as this coaster here, we'll engrave on this slate product and it'll actually take out the top material and whatever material underneath it is what comes out as the engraving part. So it's kind of cool. We're uh, multifunctional. We're not just limited to like trophies. We're, we're, that's all we do. We are very diverse in the different products that we can make. So. Yeah, it's funny. Just moments ago, you had that catalog that looked like oh, well, it's a book. Yeah, that was massive. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's bigger than the Bible. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I mean, and every page is multiple products. And you look, and they're all. I haven't not seen a product like that in every office, and even in homes. Like mm -hmm. it's anything from awards and things that you see handed out at, at like ceremonies that people receive, right? Or anything from just home decor. Like we have that awesome sign right there with the key that says sold on at home sweet home mm -hmm. those are the kinds of things people you know put all over their instagram saying hey we just got the keys to our house or hey we're putting this on our wall and and uh you know you really personalize things in a world where everything seems to want to be cookie cutter and, and amazon you guys kind of break that mold and say here let's let's put a little personalization in your life yes we do we actually in my eyes the difference between personalization and customization you know say for example you went to my website and then you wanted something that says, you know, choose a circle sign and then just change the name. To me, that's customized. Yeah. Where something, you want something personalized, you come to me with the idea and we create it for you. Yep. And then we create it, uh, you know, however you want it. And then we can edit it, change it how many times you want mm -hmm. to make it look like you want. So you're happy versus whether you just, you know, choosing an item off a website. So. Yeah, I mean, mm. I, I learned that firsthand from you because just last week we were going to our name tags. We wanted them to be a real specific way, and you kept sending me back information back and forth over the weekend. How's this look? What do you want for this? And really got me to feel like, man, I got to design this mm -hmm. to be us. And it already got, like, I've worn it to numerous functions, and it's to make the Chamber of Commerce and different things that we've taken care of with clients, and we've gotten a lot of remarks on where we got it from because, like, oh, man, we like the silver background, or we like the etching here or this because we had people that had this, and like, man, we really wanted something that looks like that where'd you get it from I'm like oh well let me talk to my man larry here <laughs> so hopefully they contact you soon because i have had some of those conversations um but you know one of the things that i really enjoy about my job is 
It's really relational, right? And you make your job relational. Like you, like I said, you come into our office and you're like, hey guys, like I'm Larry. Like, you know, this is what I do. And there's nothing more personalized than a personal visit with somebody who actually wants to show you what they do and, and, and the product that they have. And, and from kind of what I've seen is that comes from people who really understand and have come from a different kind of background, right? And you and I have kind of shared a little bit of our backgrounds. Mm-hmm. So would you mind sharing a little bit of how you got into this industry? Like, what, where did you come from before? All right. Well, before the industry, I was a retail manager for 25 years for a big box store. Yeah. And, you know, I always started myself on great customer service, follow-up skills, and, you know, communication. So that's kind of where, you know, our great service comes into play. As far as the laser cutting pro- of the product is, I actually owe it to my wife. She actually started uh, back in 2009 her own wedding paper goods store in online on Etsy and she was doing just paper cutouts for weddings. People want, you know, place cards for their names and she got some inquiries for some cake toppers and was like, oh, we can't do that. Uh, You know, how are we going to offer this to our customers? So then we ended up getting a little tabletop hobby laser about 12 by 20 for proof of concept, you know, did something out of wood, you know, just like this. And then realized, well, we could do other stuff, you know, maybe out of acrylic. And then once we realized the spectrum of that, you know, we're like, man, there's just thousands of other products that we could do and offer. And most of the ideas, actually, if you go to my website, which is our, our Etsy page, um, most of our ideas there all came from customers. And it's kind of funny because the very first item on there was my wife was started um, making wood napkin rings for the holidays for herself. Okay. And we had these little circles left over. Should have brought one. And then um, she was like, I'll just throw it away. I'm like, throw it away? We have a bunch of them. What are we going to do with them? We could repurpose them. You're a crafter. She's the crafty part. By the way, she does all my other design work. Ah, so, okay. Know, I do everything. All the other stuff, she's the designer. She's the real mastermind. But, you know, I was like, oh, you're a crafter. You can do something with it. And she's like, nah, throw it away. It's just waste. And I was just like, well, I'm going to save them. So I had a bunch. And I was like, well, you have an Etsy shop. I'm going to make an Etsy shop and put this on there. She's like, you'll never sell Number one selling item for two years. And then that's kind of <laughs> how we branched off more um, out of the craft. You know, she had mm-hmm. the, you know, the cake toppers and stuff like that. And we got designs off that. And then, you know, we started attracting crafters. And then people were like, well, can you do this? Can you do that? You know, and then um, about two, 2018, I was able to quit my full-time job. That's awesome. And expand the business. You know, we're a home-based business here in Murrieta. Just me and my wife. So keeping it small, keeping mm-hmm. it simple, and we ship nationwide, actually international. We ship to a handful of countries all over the wow, world too. Wow, that's awesome. So we're not limited on where we can do it, and our local base is huge and growing and fantastic. Can't uh, say enough about the local communities here in the Temecula Valley. That's really cool, man. Uh, I love hearing your story. I don't think I'll ever get tired of it, simply because, one, uh, it really speaks a lot of your character. Like, you guys are just so adaptable. Like. We're going to make a product out of something that we didn't even couldn't have even dreamed of initially because we were dreaming this, but then we brought something else into our dream and still lived out our dream, mm-hmm. and and basically created a bigger dream, you know. And if that's not a, like the story that everybody wants to hear nowadays, right? Because everybody wants to find a way to make something their own, and you guys did, and you guys do it well. Uh, I mean, it's it's a beautiful thing, really. I mean, we know so many people that are uh, beneficiaries of your products now and nobody ever leaves upset like everyone's happy with what they have they're happy with the conversations they've had with you guys and you know it's evident of the fact that you guys came from you know the the beginnings of, of saying okay so how do we make this niche product work and then you took something quality and built more quality off of that mm-hmm. yeah a lot of our products like i said you know come from you know my wife's designs for one and then two you know from what our customers want yeah you know we cater to them uh, a lot of other things are from you know word of mouth you know um ideas that people just throw at us or branch off or our base you know is you know some people may think well we just do real estate agents no we don't we deal with everybody yeah and we're sky's literally the limit that we could do we have a full production mach- uh, machine and you know our little one that we started out with you know i it couldn't keep up with me with the orders and now I can't keep up with the machine that, you know, as fast as I put it in, take the order out, you know, this machine goes 24-7. So, you know, thank goodness that thing is just a beast in, in itself and we do a lot of other things. We started, you know, offering 3D signs and painting and staining products. So, 
we're not trying to limit ourselves because we know it in the downturn of, of 2020, a lot of places that were did just trophies, you know, or yeah. just awards, they all went out of business. You know, they still had the laser, yeah. but they never wanted to learn the other scopes of the mm. different things that they could do. They wanted to do just that little niche, which is, don't get me wrong, you know, it's a great niche to be in if you're in the award industry. But take example last year, they all went out of business yeah. because none of the schools, none of the companies were doing awards or events and they had to shut down yep. where we, you know, we were able to expand off that, you know, so, you know, it definitely benefited us, you know, mm -hmm. so... Yeah, sky, sky's the limit. It's just amazing the different things that you can do with this machine from anything from, you know, a tumbler to acrylic to wood to leather to name tag. It's just, if you yeah. could create it, we we could get it done. Yeah. Well, really, and who doesn't love in a business that they, what customer doesn't love going to a business where the business says, what can you imagine? And then does it for you. Mm -hmm. You know that's huge. That's I mean, if I could do that in my industry, that'd be amazing. Like, what can you imagine with your loan? And we'll make it. Mm -hmm. Like, we, you know, there's only so much we can do within our product line because you have to be able to get a loan to somebody to a house. But for you, you can be like, no, 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 imagine bigger. Let's see what we can do. You know, and that again goes to the adaptability we just talked about because, like you said, 2020 was a rough year. Oh yes. And uh, for you guys to have sur not only survived but thrived because you guys are adaptable shows everything that people need to know about your business. It's not only got the products that they're going to want for the price they're going to want, but <clears throat> if they use you, you're not going anywhere. Mm. Like, they're not going to worry next year when they need that item and they're doing an event, will it be there? Because they've already seen, man, this guy's weathered the storms, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, he and his wife know what they're doing. They've made the products. They've, they've dreamt with us. They've lived with us. They've made it happen. So that's really cool. Like, I think especially that you, uh, I like that you brought up the 2020 because... That's partially why we brought you in the room too. Is we love eliminating small business, right? Mm -hmm. Because small business is the, the the crux of our country, and for someone like you to have survived in such an interesting industry and to do it the way that you have really speaks to everyone out there. Like, hey man, it can be done, but these are some of the templates that you got to follow, and and taking care of your people and, and customers in a way like that is just you know second to none. Yeah, another great thing is you know, going to all these networking events and you know, meeting individuals as yourself and your company, yep. um, you really don't realize all the other small local businesses here. And you're like, you do that too? Yeah. That's cool. And we all ended up buying from each other and mm -hmm. we share each other's stuff and we become, you know, great friends and family yep. and we support each other and the community sense in this area is just huge. Mm -hmm. And I've met some great people, you know, networking and great businesses. You know, we've all helped each other out, you know, whether it, helping them with an, uh, someone else with the event or, you know, even acting as like maybe even a, a business coach, you know, hey, how do you start your business? I'm kind of struggling with this getting off the ground or managing yeah. my time. What did you do? And yeah. it just keeps the conversation rolling and we learn and grow with each other. Man, I, I love that. I hope everybody at home <laughs> that's watching this is just listen to that. That's like, that's a great like, like just pound of wisdom from Larry right there because uh, you know, when, when you're doing well in a job, a lot of times people start to feel this need to almost like try to get that greedy, like, I want, I'm in it for myself and how do I benefit mm -hmm. myself the best way? But the first thing you said was, man, this community and how we build on each other and how we help each other. And, and it seems to be working out pretty good for you to be, you know, be, not being out just for, for number one, you know what I mean? And, and, and we love being able to support you in that because we see that your heart is in that to, to, to build a community, to be part of the community, to better from each other, but also be humble enough to learn from each other. Mm -hmm. That's that's really cool, man. I like that a lot. Appreciate it. Yeah. And I got to say, you got to have a pretty special wife, too, to be the mastermind of the designs and still put up with you and work with you, you know? Yeah, and she still works full-time, too, so she's a hustler herself. Woo! Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the good sense. She has her own little networking group, too. Okay. You know, I kind of have mine, and then we all kind of learn each other's businesses and then it's kind of funny it's like oh i didn't know that was your husband i didn't know that was your wife mm -hmm. so you know with my wife's business tipsippy.com you know we share the same laser for her paper goods she has a separate machine that she does okay. but as for laser cut goods we share the same machine and it's kind of funny when you know it's like hey i kind of know somebody in town that does that and she's like and then you know, my wife be like yeah 
so and so said there's some some short bald guy. She's like, yep, my husband. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, oh, I didn't know that, you know. And so then, then there's another connection, you know. Yeah. You met someone else there, you know, that you're like, oh, okay, you're so and so's husband too, because yeah. you know a lot of a lot of people in the community own multiple businesses too, and multiple small home based businesses, mm -hmm. and you know it just keeps growing that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a good thing we're in different fields because people want my description. I'm the other short bald guy, yeah. so <laughs> I go that we get that all the time. But he does mortgages. Oh, that's yeah. John. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's cool. Well, I think that's really uh, great that you guys have the the niche that you have, but more, more importantly, the, the success in business that you have because mm -hmm. we don't just throw anybody on this podcast. We throw people that you know share values with us and also have products that we believe in and that we get to see used. You know and I've gotten client pictures back like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Thank you for this. And like, mm -hmm. they just say it in a way where it's almost like I crafted it. And I'm like, I got it from him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I don't have that uh -huh. kind of creativity in my life. You know, uh, my wife is creative. I'm not. So mm -hmm. like, if, I've, even if they were going to give anybody credit, they'd have to look to her and it still wasn't her. And that kind of leads into social media too, because it's yeah. so sometimes so hard to, you know, keep creating content or share content. And one of the kind of biggest struggles is with our online sales is getting that customer or client to share what they did with the product. Mm. I mean, like, you know, so people come to us say, you know, oh, this is fabulous. And then we see what they did with this little craft circle. And we're like, oh, we can't even compete with you, our client. Yeah. who made this out of our, our item. We would have never thought of anything like that, you know, or it's right. an entirely different crafty side. And I'm like, I'm glad you shared that with me because, you know, then I go, well, what's your Instagram? What's your Facebook? So now I can share that online as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's always a challenge is getting the person on the other end of the internet to show us to find a product. Yeah. Know? Well, and I think that's an important thing to let people know because a lot of times people want to help good business, but they don't always know what to do. And they don't realize how simple it can be, right? Yeah. Like, it's pretty easy to hit that little click on the, the Instagram and say, you know, like basically share that to your story mm -hmm. or to upload a picture of something and say, hashtag lightning laser cuts, you know. Um, we we uh, really appreciate the stuff that you do, and I think that for the for average user, especially the ones that are going to jump on this after they, they listen and see this, they're going to want to to know how to benefit you because people don't like seeing business go away, mm -hmm. you know. And so for you guys, as people buy your more of your products, they're going to be like, I need this guy to stay around, and I want to figure out how to do that. So it's uh, important, everybody that's watching this, make sure you guys do help your social media. I mean. Everybody's on it. We know you have yep. one. We know you're listening on one <laughs> because you're here. So just hashtag it, share it, put it on a story, upload it, and uh, you know you get a lot of exposure too. And, and and whether it's for your personalized industry, or maybe it's for being part of a corporation, or maybe it's just for family stuff that you want your family to be able to see. Larry's going to be able to share that out and make a bigger deal out of it with you. And and it's kind of what the whole nature of his business is. Is it it, it takes something that you want to kind of make a big deal out of and it makes it personal mm -hmm. and that's exactly what you would even do on a social media platform yeah well I said one of our challenges actually is having sometimes people realize what we do when we say lightning laser cuts they go mm. so what are you doing laser hair removal <laughs> we actually actually had one call before and they asked us if we did that we're like no we don't do you know laser hair or, or tattoos we do you know personalized gifts and they're like well what is that and then you'd have to show them you know yeah. You have to like, okay, go to my Instagram or go to my Facebook and right. then we can show you examples. Um, it's kind of it's kind of funny because, you know, I work at home and, you know, I have someone come pick someone. It's like, hey, can you show me a sample of that, something that you did on your Instagram? And I'm like, I just shipped that out. That was the only one because it was catered to that person. So, you know, I got to get it on Instagram so that people keeps the ideas fresh in people's head because yeah. people like to see it up close. They want to touch and they want to feel. Yeah. Showing them a picture sometimes mm -hmm. does no justice, you yeah. know. They, they may not know what it is or it could look deceiving to them, you know. Yeah. They may not know what that is or what this is, you know. Yeah. So That's interesting about the world that we live in now because if you think about it, I was just joking about, sadly joking about yesterday with a friend about how a kid will never get the experience again of walking into a toy store. Mm -hmm. Like, they just don't exist, you know? Like, Toys R Us was the most magical place oh. when I was five. You know, I walked oh, in, I know, right? and I, I knew exactly how to make a beeline for the Star Wars aisle. Mm -hmm. Like, I was there. And, you know, so nowadays, people don't realize they still want that. Even though there's the convenience of the online shopping, they still want to have that feeling of, where's the product? Can I feel it? 
Yes. Can I touch it? Can I smell it? Hear it? Can I hear yeah. it? Yeah. Pressing that button of that one little toy, watching make it roar or whatever it may be. Exactly. Right now. And so social media gives us the ability to do that again. But if you're not being part of that, where you bring the person into the shop, so to speak, to help share that experience, you're not helping the business out that you care right. about. And so um, it's really important for people to realize, like, don't roll over for convenience. Because if you do, you're going to forget to give kudos to people that really deserve it and businesses that you want to actually get products from. Mm-hmm. So um, is there anything, like, with, since you've joined this industry that you can kind of look back at and say, like, this was kind of my, my fifth symphony, something that you really enjoyed getting to make or something that was kind of like your aha moment for, for like, lightning laser uh, cuts? For, for me personally, I think it's getting out and, you know, like, for example, being here, going network, talking face-to-face to somebody okay. about learning about them, learning about their business, learning about who they are, what they like, versus, you know, my previous job, it was, I was told what to do, when to do it, yeah. what time to do it, and that's it, yeah. you know. There's no gray area, you know. Where here is, you know, is it's my vision, and I get to help incorporate that, you know, the way I want. And I learned to help incorporate that from everybody else and to create the other items that we can do. And it's just not a nine to five job, you yeah. know. Uh, it's not something that's boring for me or anything that we do. And it's, every day is a, a different product we're working on or we're talking with a different individual or a different company. So every day is different. It's not the same thing day in it. It's not Groundhog Day for me. And yeah. I don't think it ever will be being in this industry. Yep. And get them to create new things and, and go go into businesses and meet people and network. And it's just, like that's my personality, getting out there and being yeah. able to do and things and talk to things rather than reporting somewhere every day. So yep. that that's a life changer for me because I did retail for so long that, you know, um, some things are great and some were bad. Like, you know, I have great customer service c- communication, you know, and I learned all that for retail, but I never really saw my full potential there. Mm-hmm. And here, you know, I get to see my kids grow up. I get to be home all the time with them, right. around family. I get to see friends. You know, it's working around my schedule. You know, for the for the, for the most part. You know, uh, we always deal with tight deadlines with customers. So you know, not just always on my time. You know, but yeah. you know, it's not like you have to. You know, be at work at this certain time. You know, right. if something came up, you know, say with family. I could take care of my family, and then if I got to work late at night, I work late at night, you yep. know? So that's to get the freedom is is what I really love and enjoy, and getting out there with talking with people. I really you awesome. know, miss that, you know, rather than, well, what did you need today, sir? Here's mm-hmm. your bolt. Here's your nut. It's <laughs> over there, right, you know? <laughs> no, I understand. And, uh, you know, there, there's, I'm going to probably butcher the expression, but it's that idea of, if you do what you love, you never have to work a day the rest of your life, mm-hmm. you know, and, and clearly you're passionate about it. And that's why I'm glad you said what you said. I really want people to feel your passion because when people feel passion, they want to be a part of it and they need to be a part of Lightning Laser Cuts because it's a big deal. It's a big deal to me. It's a big deal to my clients and it should be a big deal to a lot more people. And, uh, you know, I think I kind of wrap it up with that because I want people to kind of end their, their knowledge and their understanding of you with the passion of you and and what what oozes out of you and if you guys didn't just hear that last rewind it to get another 30 seconds of this video Mm -hmm. and listen to larry just pour out about the fact that he was like hey i care about people i care about being with you guys and being in the trenches and and being free to see my family and who doesn't want to help a Mm -hmm. a family man you know what i mean and wants to to do things the right way so i can't thank larry uh you enough for for joining us Uh today and as i always do which i found out in the videos isn't as funny as i thought it would be but i'm still going to do it to james anyways (laughs) Uh, i'm going to point all over the cameras and hope that he puts our handles somewhere on that Uh, but he's going to put our connection information on there uh basically phone number and contact info for lightning laser cuts and larry and there's also going to be a link uh, attached to it for the catalog so you can see all of the vast array of things they can do and honestly like he said don't let the catalogs f- like stop you there if you can dream it chances are he can do it for you yeah if i could add real quick so our etsy shop is kind of like our minimized customized products our yeah. instagrams all the cool stuff we did that's our like one-time gifts for people yeah. and then that catalog is just 
a plethora of other things that mm -hmm. that we can do so you know yep. I just love the fact that I'm helping you help your clients That's you right. know it's not I'm just giving you a service I'm helping you service your clients as well and that's awesome and life is great things are fantastic uh, yes couldn't ask for more being here yeah, Can't wait good. for the next one. Yeah, hey, you, and you'll yeah. be on again. Trust me, you'll mm -hmm. be on again. Uh, this isn't your first time. It won't be your last nope, time on nope, Two More Good Guys. And it's certainly not the last time you're going to be in our office, and I certainly hope not. Oh, no. Because you know we're going to keep buying stuff from you. So uh, we really appreciate uh, Mr. Larry himself. Mm -hmm. uh, again, give him a round of applause from your desk chairs or wherever else you're <laughs> listening to this and while you're driving in the car, whatever it is. Uh, but thank you for joining us today on the Two Mortgage Guys podcast. See you soon.